This video is brought to you by my ebook, Texting Women Like a Boss. The link is in the description. This guy had a question, and this guy's question is, how do you balance setting boundaries and being indifferent? A girl I'm dating uh, said two days ago that she wants to hang out today, but I haven't heard anything from her and I haven't reached out. How can I be indifferent while also letting her know it's not behavior I accept? Okay, so this is the thing I see a lot of guys do whereby a girl will girl reach out to them and say, hey, we should hang out sometime. And then the guy assumes that the next thing that's going to happen is she's going to come through with a plan and an idea for a thing to happen. I got news for you, guy. That's going to happen like 3% of the time. But the, the majority of the time what's going to happen is when a woman actually reaches out to you, again, like I said with the previous comment, guy, women reaching out to you is already a big enough deal. They're telling you in no uncertain terms, hey, guy, I want to see you. And that is great. But when women do that, whether it's they've you know walked up to you and given you the number or have like told you, hey, I want to hang out sometime, that is them giving you the reins to now do the rest. If she gives you the number, hey, here's my number. You should know how to call me or text me to get me on a date. So when a woman says, hey, uh, I really want to hang out today, your job is to be like, hey, that's great. You know what? I already got an idea for something we can do. Now, you might hear that and be completely frustrated because you might be thinking, Harry, if she reaches out to me, like when I reach out to her, I've already got a plan in mind and I've already got a date idea set. And so that's what I expect from her. You cannot expect women to operate the same way that men do. OK, because even a woman that likes you, that wants to spend time with you, is hoping that you like her enough to have ideas in your head about things you want to do with her. Now, you can be mad at that all day. I'm telling you, I, this is not going to change with women. So I'm not in the habit of trying to change how women are. I'm in the habit of learning how women are and adjusting my game accordingly. So I always have on deck restaurants I can go to, fun places to have fun, like bowling alleys, laser tagging. Uh, top golf in here in California is really, really fun. Like I always have on deck, I can go to Yelp. I can go to Groupon. I know where I can go online to find something to do. I can go, if you guys still use Facebook, because I'm older, so you may not use Facebook, but Facebook has a whole page called events where in your town, you can click on events and you can find out all the stuff that's happening today, tomorrow, next week, and be set to go with plans. The point is women, when they reach out to you, are giving you an opportunity to show that you know how to plan things and they're giving you the opportunity to lead them because they're gonna follow your game plan, whatever you got ready, right? So I understand this guy's asking one question, but he's actually, by way of his other, uh, the other thing you put here, he's actually asking two separate questions because this isn't a matter of you're setting a boundary and trying to be indifferent. This is a matter of you're, you're saying that the boundary that should be set is that if she reaches out to you and wants to plan some stuff and then she doesn't hit you back about anything, then you're, it's going to mess up your day. But you just need to know as a guy, it's your job to have the plan. Now, you may be frustrated. You may say, but Harry, blah, 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 blah. Again, as I've said before, after date four or five, a woman will typically start saying, hey, I got an idea come over to my place to cook a meal. Or, hey, I got a great idea for us to go out someplace because I want to treat you now. But until that happens, she's going to expect you to make the plan. Now, here's the other thing you may not be thinking about, right? Let's say you've taken a woman out on like two or three dates. And at this point, you've been a gentleman, but you've been flirty with her. You've kissed her maybe even stuff like that, but you haven't gone all the way with her yet, right? So at the point that a woman is ready for that to happen, so she'll be like, okay, I want this to go down. But there's a problem in our society. If she's the one that's trying to plan an event that could result in hookups happening, they look like a harlot. They look like a slur. They look like a 304. And they don't want that. So what they might do instead is say, hey, guy, they'll reach out and say, uh, hey, I want to hang out. Now, for a woman, hang out could be code potentially for like, I want to just be in your around you and in a situation where things could happen. Notice she didn't say, uh, he didn't say that she said that she wants a date. He said, she said she wants to hang out. So some guys might take that as a negative or think, hang out sounds like friendship stuff. I I've been in this game long enough. I've heard women tell me, hey, let's hang out and do something. And that do something means, hey guy, it's on you to plan a date that 
If things just happen to go towards the bedroom, then hey, that's something that you planned and I was just a willing participant. And so women are going to play dumb. Women are going to play completely dumb to this idea of they can't set up a thing for hookup to happen. Now, once the hookups happen, then they're a lot more willing to plan something like that because it's already gone down. But for the beginning, it, it, she's leaving it in your hands. So she says to you, I want to hang out today. It's very open there, meaning, hey, whatever you whatever you want to plan, I'm down for. You as the guy got to know, okay, you plan something. You can plan something like, you know, let me like go out for like a little meal or like go out for like a bowling thing, but plan an activity and then plan something that can happen at your place. You know, hey, let's go get a quick bite to eat in the, at, at uh, Jersey Mike's and then we'll come back here and we'll have a picnic on the floor and we'll watch a movie. Boom, you're getting her back to your place. You're allowing her to be able to spend time with you and it's in your space where anything could happen. If you happen to get some Jersey Mike's and then a bottle of wine, I guess we got to have the sandwich and wine. Oh my God, I feel a little fuzzy because this wine is making me a little whatever. And next thing you know, boom, she's in your bed. But more importantly, you've now given her plausible deniability, meaning that she can go back to her friends and the story will not be, oh, I told him to come over here so we could do some stuff and then we did some stuff. Because again, even if that's acceptable in today's society, it's still going to touch on her in the sides of like, I still feel like a, a 304 versus, hey, he he set up a great thing. We went, we just had a chill day. We went to get some sandwiches and then he got some wine and then we got back to his place. We turned on a movie. He played some really nice music. He started talking to me and I just started feeling these things. The next thing I know, oh my God, his tongue was down my throat. And we did stuff like women would rather have that story. So when she's saying to you, hey, I want to hang out. Don't be mad that she didn't come back to you about the whole, like, she didn't actually plan a thing. Let it be taken as, oh, she's letting me plan this. She might want to do some stuff. No, she might not. But either way, all you do is you plan the event. And then if the event happens to go your way, fantastic. If it goes a different way, hey, you always tell women, I'm just here to get to know you in whatever capacity and show you a good time. But that good time could include hooking up. OK, so when women give you these kind of alley-oops, know what to do with this alley-oop. But again, you would know that kind of stuff if you read my book, Stop Losing Women, because this is this is a book that's going to teach you how not to lose women and the things you need to do in order to attract them and keep them around. So when women are giving you alley-oops, that's one of the things you got to learn early is that you got to know how to maneuver that into something that's going to benefit you. And more importantly, see when she's setting you up for the alley-oop. Lastly, in reference to his actual question, which is how to balance setting boundaries and being indifferent. So basically, let's say it's not the scenario. Let's say, you know, they they planned a date and then last minute she flakes and didn't tell him about it. And then they meet up later. And it's like, oh, something came up and blah, 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 blah. Well, he might be thinking like, OK, I don't want to let her know I was butt hurt by that. But I don't like the fact that she couldn't just hit me up and say, I can't make the date. What do I do? And so when I when I talk to you guys about being indifferent, I don't mean it as like not ever showing that you don't care. I refer to being indifferent as I don't want you to completely freak out on a chick when she does something that's not pleasing to you. Because spoiler, all women, all women are going to do something that you are not pleased with, even if it's unintentional. Even if she makes the food that you said, you know, you're allergic to milk and then she put milk in it for like the third time and she didn't mean to just as what she's used to doing. They're going to eventually annoy you in some capacity. Right. And so. But being indifferent is about being able to hold your frame and about being able to still be a steady rock. And that doesn't mean you can't express disappointment. You know, for example, if I was going on a date, let's say I, I plan a date and a girl's like, I, I, it's like 15 minutes late, right? So I learned early on that me trying to complain to women about like, I, I wish you would show up on time for dates and I wish that you blah, blah, blah. Like none of that works because they're gonna do what they wanna do, right? But I did find that if I was going on date, dating a woman with her, right? And let's say like it's like date three and we plan a date and I plan the date for like seven o'clock and it's now 7.14 and she's not there yet. I just learned, okay, at 7.15, if she's not here, I'm out. And I've literally had it sometimes where like it would hit 7.15 and I would walk out the door, I'd go back home. I'd get a call from them like five minutes later. Hey, Harry, where are you at? Oh, I'm home. Well, why are you, why are you home? Well, we said seven o'clock, it was 7.15, so I went home. This is me. I'm not showing any emotion. I'm not showing that I was hurt by it. I'm just being like, oh, she didn't want to show up for the date. So I'm going to go home and do other stuff. Do, 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 do. But she gets the, the memo that that's not acceptable behavior without me having to say, well, the, what, you being late, I just find it completely unacceptable because what does whining or pouting 
How does that help you attract women? Like it doesn't. So I just let it be known. That I just go home. And I'll let them know like in real time so they can feel in a real way that this is not acceptable. I've had times where I've been in relationships with women where I'm like, hey, we need to leave at like seven o'clock to go catch this movie. 701 hits, I get in my car. Hey, wait, I'm still not done getting ready. Well, I'm not missing this movie. So either you follow behind me or just don't catch it. Like I do not care. And so again, that's being indifferent because my, I, the, the, the point of indifference is showing that basically whether she's there or not, you're going to go about your life and have a good time. Her being there would add to that good time, but it's not going to take away from it if she's not there. And I think what women can read off guys is that we get extremely butthurt. If a woman we're dating or trying to get with isn't on our program or our whole our whole world will stop if the woman is like throwing us off in some way, like, oh, she can't, she's not ready for the date yet. So, oh my God, I gotta, she's, she's holding me back from this. And I got, why is she holding you back? Like she made the decision not to be on time. So you are making a decision to be on time. If those things don't line up, oh, well, if she gets mad at you later, then you can just be like, well, babe, next time be on time. Oh, but how could you just leave me this? Blah, blah, blah. Babe, babe. And again, I'm always calm. Babe, we knew what time the thing started, did, didn't we? I gave you an hour beforehand, right? Okay. So you didn't want to be on time. That's totally fine, but that's not going to hold me up. So next time, if you want to be on time, you know what it is. Now, I have found women in the moment, they get a little mad about that. They get a little angry. They pout and puff about it. But you know what happens next time? They're not late. So again, indifference, I found, typically tends to win. And in terms of trying to enforce or set a boundary, that's something that a lot of women like to do these days. Again, it's not a matter of you trying to verbally say, well, I'm going to set this boundary. It's just a matter of you, when a woman does something that's displeasing, you just decide you're going to go about your life and potentially without her. And you're totally fine with that. And women need to know that on some level, their guy can do without them. Like it sounds really backwards and weird, right? But I have found women respect men more that can seemingly do without them than men that are like, I breathe your air. And if you're not around, I'll completely die. Like that's a lot of pressure. Women don't typically like a lot of pressure. So if they're going to choose between a guy that's going to be like, you're my whole world and I need you. And a guy that's like, I want you around, but I'll still survive if you're not here. Sorry to say, guys, in my experience, I have found women like that guy instead. So do with that what you will. But hopefully, guy, that answers your question.